Now, there's a post that's been going around by a person called Scott Adams where he essentially blames all of the U.S.'s problems on China. Now, it's important because this guy gives micro lessons, two to four minute videos on being more happier and more effective in life. Now, let's leave the grammatical nonsense out of that because it should be obvious. Here is a list of things that he actually blames China. These are problems in the U.S. that he blames on China. The pandemic, fentanyl, economic destruction of the U.S. middle class, climate change, racial unrest in America, the military budget, and North Korea. That's right. Essentially, the COVID pandemic is the fault of China, an accusation which has absolutely no evidence whatsoever that the WHO, upon all their investigations, have shown that there is no evidence that this happened as a result of any kind of wrongdoing by China, which is the allegation that it was a, a bioweapon that eventually escaped. Now, the fentanyl epidemic, exactly how is that China's fault? U.S. doctors, bribed by U.S. pharmaceutical companies, overprescribed opioids that got a large section of the population addicted. I fail to see how that's China's fault. Now, China does manufacture fentanyl. It does manufacture all kinds of opioids, which are sold in the United States, which China eventually turned around and cracked down upon in order to deal with with the fentanyl crisis. But in no way, shape, or form is China responsible for this crisis. In fact, court cases have already demanded that pharmaceutical companies pay out to victims of the fentanyl crisis because they were found liable for being a part of it. And even U.S. doctors, to some degree, bear responsibility in over-prescribing them. Yet this guy feels that it's China's fault. The accusation is simply ridiculous. How you can blame China for climate change is also completely nonsensical. Every country in the world bears some responsibility in some way, shape, or form for combating climate change, which China is actually taking significant steps to pr promote green energy. While the U.S. is the country that refuses to go along with the Paris Climate Accord. It almost seems as if this Scott Adams has a very selective memory or has simply no idea what he's talking about. Racial unrest in America is China's fault because it has AIs that make social media accounts that stoke it. Now, um, Scott, I don't know if you know but the United States was founded on genocide and slavery along racial lines. These things might have played a bigger factor in racism in the United States than the allegation of Chinese bots. Now, you may be very high up on your liberal ivory tower that you may not even be able to see history from where you are. You know, like one of those really tall buildings where that actually pokes out through the clouds and, it, and, and you, you can't actually see the ground. That's probably about how high up your high horse you are. Or maybe even that far up your own ass. It's hard to say at this point. It, I, I, this makes absolutely no sense. It's China's fault for racism in America. It's, 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 it's not that the, the racial unrest is their fault when you have a racist society that was literally based on racism. Okay. Now, the military budget in North Korea is somehow China's fault. So the U.S. is the biggest war budget ever in the world, surpassing anything in history. and has been surpassing anything in history for a very long time, for many decades. It's China's fault. China forced the U.S. to manufacture unending amounts of weapons. Waste tons of money on a new jet that doesn't even work properly. And to build 900 military bases occupying countries around the world. That's China's fault, according to him. I, I, I would like to talk to this guy and see how this works in his mind. Because it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And as for North Korea, 
I failed to see how China is responsible for the DPRK. I, I'm, I'm not sh- is was it because China helped the DPRK during the Korean War, or China somehow props up the DPRK? I, I'm not exactly sure what the argument is here, but apparently Scott has forgotten about the right of countries to actually exist outside of the control of the United States. The DPRK has every right to seek its own destiny without interference by the U.S., but he may not be able to understand that. And some of these positions he holds, yeah, you know, when, when, when you take a look at the guy, you know, you can maybe understand why he holds some of these positions. But it is suffice to say, Scott Adams has absolutely no idea what he is talking about and is the perfect example of how a liberal world view places America as the champion of absolutely everything and blames everyone and everyone else for their problems other than their own actions. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.